Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down you already. Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Jessa back at it with another video. We're back with another vape video. Um, my my uh, stick prints quit working. Um, like where it plugs in. Um, that part um, on my mod like burnt, burnt the shit out of it. So now it quit working. Um, the only con about that was um, it being it got way too hot too fast. Like it's pretty scary. Like I probably could have could have blew it from my face, but it, yeah. So anyways, so I bought a new one, and I'm going to review for you guys the Geek Vape Nova Kit. It's actually pretty dope, like, this is, like, just the packaging is pretty dope. Okay. There we go. Alright. So when you open it up. It looks like this. It's kind of cool. The feel of it is dope. So it looks like that is. So this is what it looks like. By the way, it does not come with batteries. You have to buy them separately. And then you got the magnetic back to it, which is pretty dope. That's in like that. Um, then just put it back on like that. I think that's cool. Hopefully these batteries are pre-charged. Charge a little bit. Um, focus, focus. So it has one of these. Um, so like what I was talking about with my other mod, um, this right, this right here, like inside here was like freaking fried. You can go up. You can change the thing. Anyways, let's keep looking through here. Now, it comes with a tank. Of course it does, like every kit does. Which is a good thing, because even the tanks are expensive. So about the Cerberus, I don't know how to fucking say it. Um, the mech coils, the mesh coils, I mean, has the mesh coil. And I do love the mesh coils. Those ones are the bomb. Um, I've seen a review done, um, a lot of videos, and everyone loves the tank. So, hopefully, and if you need, this one is well packaged. Like, the other one, like, they all are, but these are just, like, well organized lot better than the others like now they have a little thing like this like Zam. oh you get your charger Hook the charger extra band does anybody really use extra right. of course extra coil you always gonna need that An extra glass, which I can go through that with crazy because I always break them, and it's my fault for dropping it. But still, <laughs> I go and drop it a lot. But. but yeah, and then they also have a little manual for it just in case something goes wrong. You don't know how to do it or whatever. I'm gonna pre-coil. 
So, ooh, that comes off like easier than I thought it was going to. And it's also a bigger tank, so um, the e-juice that I'm using right now, um, this is actually not Aqua Pro. My girlfriend, um, after she used it all, she had another um, vape juice, another juice, and she just poured it into this. So, But I mean, I like it, she don't, but still pretty good. In a pre coil, this. I should have done this at first, and then it would have been ready time we got done. Does this help? Okay, that is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Um, that came off really easy. Uh, I didn't. It's like almost like it's cool. Um, but it comes off super easy, and I like how the holes are a little bit bigger. That's what she said. And of course, you can change the jerk tape. That looks like. Um, I might actually might like this drip tip better than the others. So you put it on. My other tank sucks ass, but so I like how big it is. I like. This might be a weird little bad bitch. Shit, bro. So. So I'm going to let that sit for a second or a minute and I'll come back and we'll try it out. So now that we waited, let's try it out. And the things, the air holes are all open. I actually was not expecting. <coughs> it is harsh. She was telling me it was harsh. And my other mom didn't really. Okay, this is 60. Let's go up a little bit. Ooh, not that far. We'll go to 70. And we'll try 70. <coughs> not bad, not bad. She is right, though. That juice is hard. That is harsh. But it's alright. I'll get used to it. I just been smoking cigarettes the past a day, so it's not bad. You definitely get a lot of flavor out of it. kind of hard to see here. We'll do it this way. It is pretty good for clouds and shit. Um, I'm going to lower it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Other than it's harsh. <laughs> I kind of, I like, a lot of people don't like the drip tip. And I don't know 
why, but I'm loving the drip tip. It's like, it's not too bulky for me, and it's not like, I don't know, it's just like, it's there. I like drip tips like that. Now, a lot of people don't like the sharpness of the handle it, and, and it's not too heavy either. Um, I, I was kind of worried about that, because I had my one, one mod that took three batteries. That shit was crazy. Um, yeah. And so, it, it weighed a lot, so it's actually not too bad. You know, fits in the hand, like, perfectly. You have it like that. But no, it's not, it's pretty good. I mean, so yeah. Um, I need to charge my batteries for it be a lot better, but yeah. I always say, oh, so far I like it. And then later on down the road, I don't like it. So I hope... If I don't like it down the road, I will make another video to tell you why I don't like it. Um, my other mod, um, the stick prints, I liked it, but um, what I didn't like about it is the tank was really small. <sighs> and I went through E-Juice like crazy. And like... The bigger tanks put more e-juice in it, and I like that. The other tank was super small, and sometimes I would forget that um, there's nothing in it, and I go to hit it, and I end up burning it. So, and their coils, since they were so little, like, they would burn really easy, and I didn't like that. Um... Yeah, but I like, the reason why I like mods like this is because you can change the, you know, you can change the temperature, you can change the wattage on it. I'm not, like, super fancy into this, like, make your own, um, do your own coils and shit like that, RDAs and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not, I, I still don't understand how to do that very good, but, um... Yeah, so I just go with the basics and do the wattage and everything. So, they're still pretty good, but so far I like it. I like the, it's kind of cool. It's, you can kind of see the ruffles in it, and the red's pretty cool. It's like the red and the blue. I think that looks dope as fuck. Kind of look like like a retro type thing. It's it's pretty cool. The fire button. You can hear it. Um, it's not too sticky. It's not too hard to push. Um, I know some mods the fire button is really hard to push. Um, so that's dope. So let's hope I don't drop them because. Every time I drop my mods, they break way too fast. I have a problem with that. I don't know. I don't know why. But I think why I like this so much is because it has a better grip. Like, I can actually fit it in my hand. And either others are too, too thin or too bulky. I got small ass hands, so... This is like perfect for me. Also, I also like how the charging port is at the bottom right here. Like like this side up instead of being at the bottom or yeah, being at the bottom because when you have to charge it from the bottom, you can't put it down. That's right can't put it down like this 
you have to like lay it down like that and charge it that way and that sucks like it, it's a pain in the ass to do that so you can have it like that yeah. by the way when you're charging your batteries I, rec I recommend you're not vaping it while it's charging um you'll get the best out of it if it's fully charged and all good um just don't want to like ruin it or anything but yeah if you guys want to see more vape videos let me know comment down below what you guys want me to try out if you want me to buy a certain mod or you want me to buy certain e-juices that you're like questioning about I'll review it. I'll buy it and I'll review it. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Smithy family. I love you guys. Keep on vaping. Peace, dudes.